and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please subscribe. 80% of people that come onto this channel don't press that red button. It's not that hard to go down and click it. A thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. Folks, I'm currently in bits at the moment. Sore throat, all sorts of symptoms of COVID, but I'm waiting on results back. I don't know if I have the man flu or I have COVID. I should find out soon. I thought I'd come on, talk about Chris Boyd, a man who was an absolute vile person in the Scottish football game. Absolute vile. He attacked air captain in one of the papers recently. And the club are investigating it and they're going to look into this and hopefully find some action against this man. Hopefully Sky Sports will actually have the willpower and sack him because this is not the only, the first time Chris Boyd has attacked a Celtic player. Two years ago, Kilmarnock, he attacked Lee Griffiths. Attacked Lee Griffiths about his mental health, about his state of play, about him being absent. But yeah, Chris Boyd, you know, he's meant to be a mental health ambassador. But he's slating people about their mental health. Absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to read out what exactly Chris Boyd said about Callum McGregor, a captain that played on Wednesday night, that had an outstanding game with the face mask on. Look at Celtic. Callum McGregor played with a fractured cheekbone. The fact he managed to get through the 90 minutes without anyone testing out that face mask is another story. So just let me repeat it. The fact he managed to get through the 90 minutes without anyone testing out that face mask is another story. The man is a sicko. Instead of they conceding another two goals, that's just weak. As, as a Rangers supporter, I must admit it was hard to watch. But one thing I did enjoy about hearing was McGregor referring to Derby as the old firm. I thought the term was banned at by everyone at Celtic Park. I just hope Callum didn't end up with wrapped knuckles to go with a fractured cheekbone. What is wrong with this man? This man is pathetic. He's immature. What is wrong with him? Like, what does, like, what's his end game here? Like, there's, yes, there's rivalry in football. Yes, there's bitterness. But this guy is at a different level. He is. He's on the telly every single week. It's not like he's tweeting this stuff. He's put. He's putting in newspapers, and then yeah, he has the courage to go on the telly on a Sunday and pretend like this is natural. Sky Sports, get the shit together and sack this lad. He thinks he's untouchable. He's an absolute disgrace to society. Kids have to look at that stuff. Kids have to look at that stuff. You know. And I think that's all right to raise people up for that bitterness. Yes, there's banter, but that's not banter. That is absolutely Scrooge material. So hopefully someone gets something done because Celtic have come out with a statement saying they're investigating this about their, their captain, Callum McGregor, about Chris Boyd's comments about his injury. Do something about it, Celtic. Do something about it. Go to Sky and tell Sky how straight. He's not welcome in the stadium. Or he's not He's not punting any Celtic games in the near future, even if they're away, and get him sacked. Because the amount of people that just hate him is becoming a joke. I dislike the man. I don't hate him. I dislike him. I don't like saying the word hate, because I think it's very, very Scrooge. But I dislike the man, and I want him, I want his contract with Sky terminated. Absolutely terminated, because it's disgusting. Yes, I take the piss out of him. I done a video during the night on TikTok laughing at him singing Live It Up. But I wouldn't wish an injury on anyone, on any opposition player, if they have a, a fractured cheekbone. If they have a face mask on, I'd actually have to respect. I wouldn't even try to go for a header and swing my arms. God, no. Definitely not. Because you don't know what would happen. So, no sympathy there for Chris Boyd. Just absolute cruelty. You know, sick man. So let us know what you think about them nasty comments. As I said, I hope you get sacked. I hope the Sky Sports will actually react to what he's what he's came out and said. It's just immature, it's vile, and it's just over the top. So I'll speak to you all soon, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't.